Hey guys, it is your girl Tiggy, and I am back today with another how-to video. So a lot of people have been seeing my images on like Instagram, like my screenshots, and seeing that I've been adding docs to um, where my navigation bar is, uh, where my apps are down here, as well as my apps um, that say camera, Dropbox, eBay, and Amazon. This is actually very simple to do. Um, if you are on my Telegram group, I did create a couple of docs um, in a pack that I sent to everyone in that group um, for them to be able to use. So if you're watching this video and you're in my Telegram group, you now have some docs that you can use and you don't need to worry about um, trying to look for anything. So first thing first, if you press and hold, as soon as you go into edit mode, you're gonna press and hold on whatever section you wanna add the dock to. So once you do that, you're gonna hit the settings gear at the top and you're literally gonna scroll down until you see background. Once you get to this area, you're gonna hit on it. You're gonna hit image and you're gonna find your dock in your gallery. So this is mine. And as you can see, when I made this dock, I did not add, um, I didn't take away the background. That's why it looks grayed out. It has that square box. So I'm also gonna link an app down below for you guys um, that it helps you basically fix this or anything else that doesn't have a transparent background. You can make it into a transparent image. The app is called Eraser. So what I do is I hit load photo. I go to my gallery and I find that image and then I hit done. Then literally what I do is hit auto at the bottom and then I zoom in slightly so it's a little bit easier to see. And you just click on what area you wanna delete. Then you hit done. And I usually smooth mine out to two. Hit save and finish. Then what you do is, oops, you click back on here, you hit your settings gear, you scroll down, hit background, image, and then you're just gonna go ahead and click on, you're gonna find the one that um, you just created and load it up. And then you'll see that now you have a dock. You can also do the bottom portion as well. Just hit it by hitting settings, scrolling down to background and hitting image and loading that one up. And now they both have one. If you wanna know how to do this scroll right here, I did make a video for this. It is part of my how-to playlist, um, which this is a really cool feature. It saves a lot of space. So I love this feature here. But you can actually do this on any size. So let's go here. We're just gonna add a layout. I'm not really gonna do too much with this, but it's just to show you. You're gonna hit settings and you're gonna scroll down. With this, it would be a little different because you would need to create a background that's large enough for that area. Um, but let's see if we can load up a wallpaper. We'll do this one. So as you can see, now the wallpaper is on the background of this. So you can do this with any size um, layout that you've added to your home screen, which is really cool. So um, I do love this feature. You can use just about anything, to be quite honest with you. I also wanted to show you guys this. This area here, if you don't have this set up, um, and or switch over, it is very confusing because they come up in random orders. So at the top right, the three buttons in the right hand corner, you're gonna hit on it 
and you're going to hit on recently added. That'll help you. So when you're adding things, you know, they'll come up in order that you're able to just scroll up to the top and the one you just added will be up there. So um, that was just a little bit of information I kind of wanted to give you guys because I didn't realize for a very long time that you could actually do that. And I was always having to look for things. Um, but yeah, if you just click on the button, you can hit recently added and then it'll keep it in order for you. But I hope you guys have a blessed day. Please take it easy and enjoy yourselves.